In the summer of 1993, a family of four moved from southwest Oklahoma to the Monterey Peninsula. As military moves go, this one was pretty well timed for everybody, except the younger daughter, Jennifer. Three out of four isn't bad, unless you're the four. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, at age 13, was at an awkward age. She was a shy, introverted girl, and she was being torn away from her school and her friends to come here to the eighth grade. The family moved into quarters on Fort Ord in the midst of the chaos of the base closing. Planning for schools on base was wholly inadequate. They had K through 12 in a single school, which they broke into two schools, Upper and Lower Marshall. So in the eighth grade, Jennifer found herself in a school with fourth through eighth grade. And they had not planned for enough teachers. And so she landed in a classroom with a fourth grade teacher, very experienced at teaching fourth grade, who was now asked to teach eighth grade. Furthermore, while Jennifer expected the eighth grade to be a rehearsal for high school, as she had been experiencing in her junior high, Instead, she was in the same classroom with the same teacher for all of her classes except physical education. Her class curriculum included recess and milk breaks as she wandered the school grounds with the 4th through 8th graders. <laughs> this was not pleasing to Jennifer. Jennifer has always been a rebel. She pushes back against authority, whether it's her father, her mother, or her teachers. She strives hard to carve out her own identity in the shadow of her older sister. And so the situation was ripe for conflict. And having an authoritarian fourth grade teacher presenting material that she'd already mastered caused Jennifer a lot of angst. She came to her parents and they went to meet with the teacher, expecting to blame Jennifer for the situation reflexively. To their horror, they learned that Jennifer had a significant set of grievances that had to be dealt with. However, the district didn't offer many options. It wasn't possible to transfer her to another school. Really, the only option was one, homeschooling. So Jennifer and her father went and picked up the materials for homeschooling and embarked on this unafraid and totally unprepared. The district assigned a teacher to monitor the progress, and Jennifer in the first weeks breezed through the materials, putting in minimal effort. They met with the teacher, and she checked the blocks in her grade book, and it became clear all she was there for was to determine that Jennifer was doing something that approximated education with her time at home. So what's a father to do? Clearly, she's not getting the enriching education experience and the preparation for high school that she needs. So he assigns her to do more work on the computer. He asks her to track her assignments in a spreadsheet. He tells her to use the computer to type up her, her assignments and to, to provide those. He throws away the reading assignments, the worksheets, and the other things that went with the curriculum and assigns her fewer questions that require her to write and to demonstrate she's thinking about the material. He asks her to outline her chapters rather than read them. He gives her oral pop quizzes. He moves from daily assignments to weekly assignments so she's managing her own time. He does as many things as he can to try to enrich this. He assigns her to go to museums, to the aquarium and other places, find anything that interests her and write about it and report about it orally. They meet back with the hippie chick monitor, who's Jennifer's <laughs> teacher. She's delighted with all the changes. But Jennifer and her father know that not a lot's changed. Jennifer's still putting in the minimal effort to get just the necessary results. So again, what is a father to do? He adds more computer work and more software. 
you know, he gives her digital art drawing type of software and she begins to do more artwork there. He gives her assignments like create an iconic cartoon. Dad, what's an iconic cartoon? Well, you go figure that out and create one. <laughs> and she did. She starts using a sophisticated mathematics program, MathCAD, to do her math homework. So now the software is factoring polynomials for her, and she's able to do experiments and do rudimentary data analysis and graph the results using the software. He finds computer simulation software like SimEarth and has her do computer experiments for her science class. She starts to take an interest in oceanography. He encourages that. But all along the way, both Jennifer and her dad know that Jennifer is mostly goofing off. He sends her to the gym on base and says, do PE, physical education, every day. Well, Dad, I'm not old enough to use the equipment by yourself. Just fake it. <laughs> Act like you belong there. And she did, and it worked. So her, she, she does other projects. She makes valentines for the elderly and takes them to um, assisted living facilities and other sorts of things. You know, they do enrichment things at the SLU and other places in the area. But all along, both Jennifer and her dad know that Jennifer is just still checking the blocks. Her hippie chick uh, teacher is delighted with her portfolio and the results she's producing, but they know that she's not getting there. She does enough volunteer work and puts together a nice enough portfolio so she gets into the Monterey Academy of Oceanographic Studies. But this isn't a success story. She goes through five high schools and a community college in her high school years. At 18, she's a teenage mother with a dead-end job and a deadbeat husband. Yeah, clearly, homeschooling was not a success, except in retrospect. When you ask Jennifer about the homeschooling experience now, that she's a successful professional who's combined her love of design and art with her technical prowess, she'll tell you that she learned to be self-sufficient, self-directed. She learned that she learns best on the job and when she's self-directed, and that all the success she has today the seeds were planted those 20 years ago when homeschool failed her. Thank you.